I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the winter beanie and this is the winter beanie that you can see here in front of you. This crochet beanie features a couple of wonderful textures, some half double crochet stitches in the third loop as well as some of the crunch stitch pattern. It's uh, quite nice to wear, it's a solid fabric and uh, fits fairly snug. The size we're working today is for an adult head, so a 20 to 22 inch circumference. The hat can be worn without a pom-pom or without, or, or with, which you can see in the photos that you'll find on richtexturescrochet.com. For the pattern today, you're going to need a five millimeter or an H8 crochet hook and some worsted weight yarn. Today I'll be working with the Heartland yarn in the color Acadia. This is a worsted weight 100% acrylic yarn with 251 yards per ball. You won't use the whole ball. It'll leave you a little bit left over should you like to make a yarn pom-pom uh, for the top of your hat. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe. Take a look around at the a free written instructions for this hat can be found on richtexturescrochet.com and the link is down there in the description of this video for you. So let's grab our hooks and yarn and get started. So for our hat today we're going to start by working down at the brim as I mentioned. Uh, I am using the color Acadia here today and that's the color of my sample hat is also done in just in case you're wondering what color of the Heartland yarn I'm using. So we're going to start by making a slip knot and then by working a foundation chain the brim of our hat will be worked in rows. You're going to start by making a foundation chain of 10 stitches. So chain 10. You can change the height or the width of your brim, make it shorter or taller, it's really up to you. There's uh, any multiple for the brim of your hat. Once you've chained 10, you're going to begin by working a slip stitch for row one into the second chain from your hook, and then slip stitch into each stitch all the way across. If you would like, you can change your slip stitches to either single crochet or half double crochet, it really depends on how uh, much you enjoy working slip stitch brims. So I'm going to be working slip stitches. Just slip stitch in each stitch. You'll have nine slip stitches all the way across. When you come to the end of row one, you can chain one and turn your work. Your chain one does not count as a stitch. For row two, and for every row from here on end for your brim, you're going to work slip stitches in each stitch all the way across, working in the back loop only. So when you look at the top of your stitch, you have this loop that's closest to you, that's your front loop. The other loop furthest away from you is your back loop. So slip stitch into that first stitch. Your chain one does not count as a stitch and then slip stitch in the back loop only of each stitch all the way across. When you come all the way across, you continue to have nine stitches, chain one, turn your work, and repeat. You're going to repeat this row two with a slip stitch in each stitch of the back loop only all the way across, chain one, turn your work. You're going to repeat that row two until your work from the beginning measures approximately 16 to 17 inches and that's when the fabric is relaxed. So it should stretch comfortably to fit around the desired circumference. So again, if you wanna make it longer or shorter, you can certainly do that. I worked mine to about 16 to 17 inches and then when it's stretched it uh, fits comfortably for about 20 to 22 inch circumference. So continue repeating that row two until your brim reaches that desired length 
and then meet me back here. Once you have worked 16 to 17 inches, this is what your brim should look like. It's nice and relaxed and it should have a good stretch to it. We're going to then sew or crochet our two shorter ends of our brim together. So I've left my yarn attached. You can chain one. Fold your brim so that those two shorter ends meet and we're going to work a slip stitch seam all the way across. Working in the back loop only of that first side and the back loop only of that second side. Insert your hook and slip stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across, working in each stitch in the back loop only of both thicknesses. Again, you'll just have the nine slip stitches. Once you come across, chain one, turn your brim so that it is right side out and that slip stitch seam is on the inside. We're now going to work the first round of our hat body. You're going to chain one and then evenly work 72 half double crochet stitches all the way around this rough edge of the brim. So I'm just inserting my hook where I feel is comfortable. And you're going to work half double crochet stitches all the way around 72 of them. Now you can change the size of your beanie by simply using an even multiple of stitches. So that's all you'll need for the stitch pattern. Now when I work the decreases of my hat, I'm working them by eight stitches. So if you wanted to stick and have uh, an even number of stitches and your decreases, it's not too big of a deal. Uh, but if you'd like to, then I recommend multiples of eight as well. But uh, any multiple of two will just do as well. Just realize that your stitch counts may be drastically different. Uh, come the top of your beanie. So right now I'm working 72 half double crochet stitches all the way around. At the end of round one you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Do not turn your work. For round two we're going to continue working half double crochet stitches but this time working them into the third loop. So to find the third loop, right now we're looking at the front and the top of our stitch. We have our front loop and our back loop. If you turn so you look at the back of your stitch, you'll see a loop that runs just under your back loop. And that's your third loop. So you're going to work a half double crochet in the third loop of the same stitches joining. And then continue working in the third loop and half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to the first stitch, you can join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round two, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one. Now for round three, going to continue working into the third loop of each stitch. This time you're just going to be working single crochet stitches. So single crochet in the third loop of the same stitches joining and then single crochet into the third loop of each stitch all the way around. When you come to that first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of the first stitch.
for round four, we're going to begin working some of our crunch stitch texture. So you're going to start by chaining one and by working a single crochet stitch, we're working under the two top loops now, single crochet stitch into your first stitch. You're then going to work a slip stitch into the next. Single crochet into your next stitch and slip stitch into your next. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Single crochet followed by a slip stitch. All the way around you'll end off with a slip stitch before you join into the top of your first single crochet stitch. At the end of round four, you're joining with a slip stitch. I've worked a, um, a slip stitch in my final stitch, then join with a slip stitch into the top of your single crochet. And at the end of round four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for the next five rounds, so rounds five, six, seven, eight, and nine, you're going to repeat that round four. So begin by working a single crochet into the top of the first slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Single crochet followed by a slip stitch. So you want to make sure that you're always working a single crochet into a slip stitch and a slip stitch into the top of a single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch, chain one, turn your work, and repeat. So you're going to do this until you come to the end of round nine. You'll have a total of six rounds of your crunch stitch pattern, and then meet me back here. At the end of round nine, you're going to join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have completed those full six rows of crunch stitch, chain one, and once again, turn your work. Now for round 10, you're going to work half double crochet stitches all the way around, starting with a half double crochet into that first stitch, and then a half double crochet into each stitch. When you come to your final stitch, right back around to the first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of your round 10, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first half double crochet and chain one. Do not turn your work. Now for rounds 11 through to 27, you're going to repeat your rounds 2 through to 10 twice more, except that you're going to end off on your round 9, so uh, at the end of that crunch stitch texture. So go ahead for rounds 11 through to 27, repeat your rounds 2 through to 10. So starting with a half double crochet in the third loop all the way around, rounds two through to ten, twice more, but you're going to end off on a round nine, which is at the end of the crunch stitch texture. Then you can meet me back here. Once you have worked through to round 27, this is what your work looks like from the beginning. you will have ended with a chain one and turned your work so you have your right side now facing. For round 28, we're going to work a half double crochet into the first stitch and then into each of the next five stitches. We're going to start 
closing the top of our hat. So we're going to be working decreased stitches. So there's three, four, five, including that first one, you'll have a total of six half double crochet stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together. To work your half double crochet two stitches together, yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through all four loops on your hook. That's your half double crochet two together. You're then going to work a half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around half double crochet into each of the next six stitches followed by your half double crochet two stitches together until you come to your first stitch join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 28 you'll have a total of 63 stitches you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. Continue working in the same direction for round 29. We're going to be working in the third loop only. And you're going to begin by working a half double crochet into each of the first five stitches. Always working in that third loop. You're then going to work a half double crochet, two stitches together, once again in the third loop. You're now going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And half double crochet, two stitches together. When you come all the way around, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and you'll have a total of 54 stitches. For round 30, continue working in the same direction. You're going to chain one Working in the third loop all the way around, you're going to work a half double crochet into each of the first four stitches. You're then going to work a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of this round, you'll have a total of 45 stitches. At the end of round 30, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 31, chain one, continue working in the same direction. You're going to work a half double crochet into each of the first three stitches. And then work a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. And half double crochet two stitches together all the way around till you come to your first stitch. At the end of this th round 31, you're going to have a total of 36 stitches and you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 32, you're going to chain one, working in the third loop all the way around, 
going to work a half double crochet into the, to the first two stitches, and then a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat this all the way around, half double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, you'll have a total of 27 stitches, and you'll join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For round 33, chain 1, working in the third loop all the way around, half double crochet into that first stitch, and then work a half double crochet two stitches together. You're going to repeat that all the way around, half double crochet into the next stitch, and half double crochet two stitches together. All the way around until you come to your first stitch. When you come to the first stitch, you'll have a total of 18 stitches, and you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For your final round, you're going to chain one, working in the third loop all the way around. You're going to half double crochet two stitches together, beginning with that same stitches joining, and then all the way around, always working into that third loop. When you come all the way around at the end of round 34, you're joining with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch, and you're then going to fasten off, leaving a little bit of a long tail. You're then going to use the long tail to sew the top of your hat closed. What I like to do is just turn the hat inside out the tail through, and just around the top you'll have a small opening. Just weave your needle in and out through those top stitches. All the way around. When you come back to the start, you can just gently pull it closed, and I see I've missed a couple stitches there, so I'm just going to go around a little bit more once again, just to make sure it's a tight close up at the top, you're then going to secure it, and then tuck in any ends. Trim off your tails, check for any other tails that you might have hidden there on the inside of your hat, and weave them in if necessary. Turn your hat right side out, and that is your Aberdeen beanie. You can go ahead, add a pom-pom to the top if you'd like, or leave it plain. It's really up to you, but that's all there is to working this wonderful textured crochet hat. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe, take a look around, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. If you happen to make this hat, be sure to tag Rich Cheshire's Crochet on social media, and uh, I'll come by and admire it. Until next time, happy crocheting.
Bye.